And the moment you've all been waiting for, the highest paying engineering job is... Hey everyone, my name's Oliver. Today I'm going to be talking about the five highest paid engineering jobs in 2021 and what degrees or career paths you need to go down in order to get one of these great jobs. So before I get started, I should note that this is my personal top five list, and I'm sure that if you Google it, you'll find something slightly different. I found lots of lists in my research, but I did my best to take into account many different things, such as starting salary, median salary, job benefits, and upwards growth potential. So with that being said, let's get right into the video. And kicking us off at number five, we have a nuclear engineer. With an average starting salary of $58,000 and a more experienced nuclear engineer making up to $110,000, this is a great job with lots of room to grow. A lot of the companies in this field are government organizations or very large private corporations that have been around for a long time, so you'll likely be getting some very good benefits and lots of paid time off. Most of the time, what you'll be doing in a job like this is developing and designing new ways to make nuclear energy cleaner and safer. Some of the requirements that you'll need for this job are a degree in civil engineering and some kind of practical experience. But I'll be the first to tell you that if you do a job search in the nuclear energy field, you'll notice that there are a lot of positions for mechanical engineers because there is a lot of designing that goes on around the nuclear industry. So if you choose to go the civil engineering route or the mechanical engineering route, there is a wide array of potential jobs out there for you, regardless of whether or not you want to go into the nuclear industry. But my personal recommendation would be to go out and get a civil engineering degree if you're really interested in nuclear energy. And coming in at number four, we have aerospace engineering. With an average starting salary of $69,000 and a more experienced aerospace engineer making $112,000, this is a great career if you really want to blast off. Pun intended. Just like with nuclear engineering, the companies who employ aerospace engineers are usually government corporations or large private companies. The two most common ones that come to my mind immediately are NASA and Boeing. If you want a really deep dive into what aerospace engineering is and what you can do with the degree, check out this video that I made to learn even more. As of recent years, we've seen the government provide more private companies the ability to build their own spacecraft, and this would be companies such as SpaceX and Blue Origin. Regardless of the company you choose to work for within this field, there are tons of well-funded companies that will provide their workers with amazing benefits and some more paid time off. Another benefit of this role is you can literally say that you are a rocket scientist, so I don't know if it gets any better than that. Aerospace engineering teams are often very multidisciplinary and will require software, mechanical, and electronics engineers just to work on one project. But of course, if you want the most obvious path into aerospace engineering, go and get an aerospace engineering degree. But there are also opportunities for many other types of engineering degrees within the aerospace industry. So if you want to work in aerospace, you know exactly what you need to do. And next up, we have number three, computer engineering. This job also has an average starting salary of $69,000 with a more experienced computer engineer making an average of $117,000 per year. So if you're interested in computers, computer hardware, the way that computers work, computer engineering could be for you. This job has steadily been on the climb in the United States within the past 50 years, and it's soon expected to command the highest starting salary of any bachelor's degree. Computer engineering, as the name suggests, involves working with computers, whether it's in a hardware or a software related manner. You'd be designing lots of software and hardware related to the operation of computers. Computer engineering is a very in-demand field since our world is becoming ever more driven by computers and software. And we need people to be able to create the new and innovative ideas that keep bringing us forward in innovation. Now, as for where you would work, computer engineers can work for lots of different companies. Some of the big ones that come to mind are Microsoft, Apple, Nvidia, or Intel. These are all extremely well established and make sure that their employees are taken care of for the hard work that they do. And if you want to work as a computer engineer, there's really only one route that you can take in school, and that would be computer engineering. Sometimes you might see an electrical engineer working in a computer engineering role, but it's pretty uncommon. So if you want to work hands-on with computers, designing hardware, firmware, or software, then go and get a computer engineering degree. And in second place, we have one that was a little bit unexpected for me, and that would be petroleum engineer. There is so much talk about renewable energy nowadays that it might come as a surprise to some of you that this job scores so high on the list. 
But nevertheless, there are tons of countries and economies that rely on oil and gas as their primary energy source. So you need to have the engineers who can design the oil rigs to extract the oil from the ground and then purify it. The average starting salary for a petroleum engineer is $77,500, with a more experienced petroleum engineer making an average of $135,000. One of the reasons for the big jump in salary here is that you'll often be working in remote locations and the cost of living there can be a lot higher, plus you're being taken away from your family, so companies are usually willing to pay a little bit more. And as I mentioned before, as a petroleum engineer, you would be designing wells and designing rigs in order to extract oil from the ground, or you would be designing ways to purify and make it cleaner. The companies you might be working for are usually extremely well established and offer great benefits to their workers. Oftentimes they'll have alternating weekly schedules where one week you'll be at the site and the next week you'll be back home designing and developing the well. And as for which degree you should get, the most obvious route would be to get a petroleum engineering degree, which some schools do offer, but another more common route I might say would be to get a civil engineering degree. So if you want to make a really good living, and maybe even live in the middle of nowhere for a while, then petroleum engineering could be for you. And the moment you've all been waiting for, the highest paying engineering job is... Big Data Engineer! I know, I know, maybe not what you were expecting, but this job has been on the rise like crazy recently. With all of the mass collection of data that people are doing, somebody has to sift through all of that and make it useful for companies. So when you think about which companies are behind this mass data collection, there's really no surprise that this job comes out on top. So how much money can you expect to make? Since this job itself is still developing, there aren't as concrete answers out online, but I found numbers that ranged anywhere from $90,000 to $100,000 as a starting salary, and with the potential to earn up to $200,000 or more. And if you've heard the buzzwords machine learning, AI, big data, this job is exactly all of those things. You will likely be spending a lot of your time doing database management and writing tons of code. Some companies that come to my mind when I think big data are Google, Facebook, Microsoft, Palantir, hedge funds, and more. So if these kind of companies interest you, what should you do and how can you get this job? The great thing about this particular job being the highest paid engineering job is that you don't even need a degree to get a job in this field. If you're a really smart person with tons of experience, there's no need for you to have a degree in this field. Famously, Google itself has removed the requirement for a degree for all of its computer science roles. As long as you can prove yourself, you could get hired at Google. But of course, since this is an engineering video, I am going to tell you which degrees you should go and get if you want a job in this field. In order of most common degrees you would see, you have software engineering, computer science, mechatronics engineering, and this last one is equally as common as software engineering, but not technically an engineering degree and that would be computer science. So if any of these sound like they would interest you and you want to make the most money possible, be sure to focus your energy on learning about big data as much as you can. Any free time you have outside of the classroom should be spent learning how these things work in order for you to make a crazy amount of cash. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to leave me a like and subscribe to the channel. Leave me a comment telling me what you thought. I always love responding to those comments. I try to make new videos like this every single week, so be sure to stick around if you want to see more, and I'll see you next time.